Hey guys, my name's Wood Hawker. I'm here to bring you this week in Launchbox News. Thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get started. First up, LaunchBox 7.10 is finally here. It launched on Friday, and honestly, it's been a while since I've announced a new update, and by a while, I mean at least three weeks. Jason's slacking, there's usually one every 2.4 days. And if you remember that poll that I talked about a few weeks back, how you could actually vote on what you wanted to see out of LaunchBox in the future, we have implemented three of the highest voted things on that list in this update, and those things are plugin support for LaunchBox and BigBox, as we have been discussing a lot of lately, duplicate image prevention and removal, and finally, background updates. So those are the three most voted features from the poll, but if you want to see a full change log, there'll be a link in the description below, and you can see everything for yourself. Just check the description and you'll find everything that I ever talk about in all of these videos down there. Make sure you check it. Have you been thinking to yourself lately, hey, I really wish someone would go absolutely crazy developing for the LaunchBox Games database. Like just out of control, settle down, maybe do something else for a bit crazy. Well, Vlad6 has you covered. All change and moderation bugs have been fixed. Massive performance improvements, especially with moderation. I had to cheat. Unicode characters are now supported everywhere. Whatever that means. Exciting. A new rules and guideline system is now in place. I know what that means. <laughs> you guys think that I'm not smart and all of that stuff, but I can do the things sometimes, maybe. So a huge thank you to Vlan6. And finally, finally, the last thing I want to talk to you guys. Oh no, I'm doing that again. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is we uploaded uh, yesterday a new demo reel for LaunchBox. It showcases the themes, a lot of the videos, a lot of James Baker's videos, but mostly it's a way, it's a, it's a thing to put on the website so when people go to check out LaunchBox for the first time, they get this flashy two and a half minute video with some music, some, some cool beats, as the kids would say, maybe some sick beats, <laughs> I regret that, with just they are showcasing all of the themes and everything that we have to offer on LaunchBox. And actually it was something that I edited myself uh, Jason did the first little bit, then I did the rest, and it was very fast, very fast paced, very uh, transition-y and like to the music and flowy. It took a little bit to put together, I just spat everywhere. Took a little bit to put together, but it was a lot of fun and I think it came out looking pretty great. So make sure you check it out because there's actually a lot of themes featured in that uh, demo that you might not have seen before that you might want to upgrade to. But also, if you ever have anyone that's interested in LaunchBox or they're talking about you know emulating video games or they, they don't know how to emulate video games or what service to use, it's definitely the kind of video that you can share to them and be like, hey, this is what it looks like, all the themes, all the downloadable stuff, all the, all the startup, they, they, everything crazy, it kind of like, just is a uh, launch box in a way. Obviously you put your own games into it, but this is what you can do with it as far as an aesthetic feel. So that's a really cool video for us to put on the website and share around and I was really glad that I was the one that got to uh, play a big part in creating that. So make sure you check it out because you might see something you haven't seen before. Oh, and finally, if you guys didn't see, I asked y'all if you wanted to see top five games you should emulate on GameCube or Sega Saturn next, and Sega Saturn had the most votes on Facebook and Twitter. So I actually made that video. You can watch it down below. Check the link in the description. It was uploaded to the channel a couple videos ago, so you could find it manually if you wanted. But I really liked it. I actually uh, discovered a game called Astol that I'd never heard of before and emulated it myself and had a lot of fun playing it. So make sure you check that video you out as well I would really appreciate it and actually came out looking very nice and my buddy Sean from Retro Game 85 helped me out on that one but that is actually all the news I have for you guys so remember to like be subscribed and for the love of everything gaming and emulation have a fantastic weekend and I'll see y'all in the next video I said y'all twice in this video I'm not from Texas mm -hmm.